hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to install mariadb then php myadmin then apache server and then php on our raspberry pi 4 basically we are going to configure a lamp server on our raspberry pi 4 but before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends so let's start so just open your terminal and first we are going to install sudo apt first friends we need to update the repository and upgrade the repositories okay so i have update packages and i have upgrade repositories okay so i have just run the basic command sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade you have to run these commands first okay so just run it sudo apt update and upgrade now we are ready so we are going to install our first package so sudo apt install apache 2 it will install apache 2 package okay i have already installed it now clear the screen and i am going to install sudo apt install php it will install php package okay which i have already installed now we have installed two package the apache 2 and php now we are going to install our mariadb package so sudo apt install maria db hyphen server and php hyphen mysql this is what the package we are going to install so sudo apt install mariadb hyphen server and php hyphen mysql just hit enter it will install the packages click on buy for installing now just start the service sudo slash etc slash init dot d and mysql start ok it will start our mysql service now sudo mysql underscore secure installation ok sudo mysql underscore secure installation this is what the command we are basically we need to uh, set the password ok for our root user so sudo mysql secure installation this is what the command just hit enter enter the current password for root so there is no current password of course we are going to set the new password so just hit enter for none and as you can see it says here set root password so click on y for yes we are going to set the password new password so i am going to enter here a new password re-enter the password and just hit enter remove anonymous users yes disallow root login remotely yes remove test database and access to it yes and reload privileges tables now yes and thanks for using mariadb so we have successfully set the mariadb so login inside the mariadb server if you are going to run the command sudo mariadb hyphen u for user root hyphen p password and here we are going to mention the password now we are logging successfully inside our mariadb and here we are going to create the user create user admin at the rate localhost ok so create user admin at the rate localhost identified by identified by and mention the password as you can see we have successfully created the user now we want to grant privileges on admin at the rate localhost ok so grant or privileges on like this way grant all privileges on then to our host admin at the rate admin at the rate local host ok and just enter so we created the user then we give the privileges the full privileges on our admin at the rate local host suppose you want to drop the user so how to do this so drop user and give the full name so admin at the rate local host as you can see we have successfully dropped the user now again we are going to create the user so this is what the command creating the user 
just hit enter as you can see we have successfully created a user then we want to give the full privileges so just uh, grant all privileges on star dot star to admin address localhost and just hit enter it will give the full privileges on that particular user now we want to flush the privileges flush flush privileges and just exit so we have done with our mariadb server php and apache now we are going to install php my admin okay so sudo apt install php my admin and just hit enter it will install php my admin okay so why for yes and that's it we are going to now install our php my admin so friends here we are going to select the apache 2 so just press space button for selecting it will show the star so so press space button okay space bar from the keyboard then again press tap button come to the ok hit enter okay so friends here configuring theme php my admin configure database for php my admin with db config common so click on yes mysql application password for php my admin so here we have to mention the password so mention the password again password confirmation and that's it so friends we have successfully installed our php my admin so if i go here on uh, our chromium browser and i just want to open chromium browser 192.168.0.108 slash php my admin and if i hit enter and as you can see we have successfully logged in with php my admin friends okay so remember one thing friends if you if you get the error uh, for uh, accessing the php my admin you have to run the command sudo ln space hyphen s then slash usr slash share slash php php my admin then slash var slash dub dub slash html and php my admin and just hit enter if suppose you you get the error of opening the php my admin remember one thing friends you have to run this command okay now we are basically ready to access our php my admin so username is admin and we have to enter the password okay so password is also admin and if i click on go and as you can see we have successfully a login inside of our php my admin okay so this is the way you can you can configure a lamp server on raspberry pi 4 i hope you will learn something from this video we will meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye